So we're now Thursday morning, <coughs> the 20th of July. I'm a little bit confused, to be honest. I'm about to let them into this lovely grass, which is grand. They were on this little wide lane for the last uh, half a day. But Madra there is mad bullying today. I don't understand what's going on at all. She's definitely bullying this morning. They're, she's mad slimy and she's tormenting Ruby. And Ruby is not that interested in her. Um, I really thought she was bullying the other day. In fact, I have her on video. Mad rising on the ball. Arching our back, showing all the signs of a cow or a heifer that's mad. But it makes more sense that she's in season today, date wise. But um, I don't understand what's happening here at all. Anyhow, I'm not going to worry. We will let him do his thing or not. But regardless, he'll be here. And when he's gone, the cleanup crew will come in, and next year we will know. What's going to happen? Whether we have lots of these belts or lots of these roans. Because the two bulls are roany. So either way, they'll be colourful. So it's not a problem. I'm going to open up this fence here now. Now, turn that that way, turn that that way and walk back this way. Throw that up in the edge because I have only one hand and stand back. Now, come on in, boys and girls. Yeah, so I don't know what the deal is. Here he is now. Come on, come in, you're blocking the gate. She's definitely bullying today, anyhow. I have witnessed them all come around the first time and I'm witnessing them all coming around the second time. This lady I never mentioned in the last video, she was cycling secondly as well. Ruby, you may start working that. I want to see calves looking like yours, They're looking like you. Look at that boy. There you go, see look, she's mad, but she was like that three days ago. Look at the slime coming out of her. Yeah, let me see the colour of that slime. If it's cloudy looking, he's are done. Can't get a look. Oh, leave them at it. She's mad on today, anyhow, so. I don't understand what's going on. But what I do understand is they're on lovely green grass up to their knees in it. And they'll be here for the next 24 hours. I'm going to tighten them on it, I think, because it's very strong. This is a dry place. This is where I was last year in the hard frost before the Christmas, up on that hill there. I kept them here. I kept them here a good while. Yeah. Something has been rising on her. Anyhow, there's dirt on her, uh, on her back. Might have her done, but look, he didn't do her the first time. We'll see. We'll see. So I might close this gate. There's access to water in here. There's a big pool of water in the middle of this field here. It's, you won't see it now, but there's a kind of a pond in the middle there. It's full when it's wet and it dries up then when it's not. So a real nice day today. Now there's definitely a bit of heat in that day. The sun is shining. 
it's not going to settle down just yet, but it will soon enough. So yeah, I will keep you updated. So it's now Saturday the 22nd. Let me just check the watch. 22nd of July. All is quiet here today. No sign of any heat or activity of that nature. They're in on a nice dry hill here. This is its second round. I skipped it the first round, I think, of the growing season. Um, I had them on this on, when was it? Just before the Christmas last year. I fed them a lot of stuff on it. I fed them lots of hay on it um, and held them up here. It was very cold in the country. It was minus seven during the day. So we had a hard, hard, hard frost. We had a hard frost and I had a lot, an awful lot of thatch on the ground, which I thought in the spring took a long time to break down. So what I did was I skipped it on the first round, but this is now the second time I'm going to graze it of the growing season. And there's lovely, lovely, lovely stuff on it now. We have, we have our thistle, we have our meadow sweet, we have all our different grasses, we have our trefoil, we have our clovers, red and white clovers. I can't see them just now at the minute, but they're there. But this is a beautiful example of, there's our red clovers there now. And we have our plantain. So we literally, and we have our bees. So this is a beautiful example of, uh, I suppose, what Mr. Clive Bright talks about, not topping. I didn't top it the last time and just leaving it be. Look at that. It is alive with life. There's a picture there now. That's going to be my uh, thumbnail, I think, for the end of this video. So basically, I haven't lost hope yet with Ruby. I guarantee you we'll have belted calves next year. There's so much activity going on now that I'm actually baffled. Madra gets very excited. She's in there now, you see. She gets very excited. She, you nearly could say she was born for the last week. Everything I know about cows is all up in the air now at the minute, to be honest. Um, I'm just going to leave it to nature, leave it to Ruby and leave it to the plan. And whatever will be, will be the 1st of August when the my boys come in. Uh, we'll know from then on and we'll have May calves or April belts. So yeah, I'm not one bit uh, concerned. There's definitely heifers. I, that lady there now, I don't know about her. I thought I saw her cycling and I haven't seen her come back around. Uh, this lady, I did see her bullying, but I thought I saw her coming around. I'm not sure. This lady, I thought I saw her. I did see her bullying, and I don't know that I see her come around. I thought I did. This lady, I definitely did. And the whitehead, where is she? The whitehead, I definitely did. But the next ones to come around that I definitely know of is skinny white Claire. And... And, and... Uh, oh yeah, and the two Galloways, the two Belties, they're definitely, uh, um, I have their times and they're coming around, uh, I think this lady will be due the 1st of August, or in around that, the last day of July, 1st of August. She was bullying, I think, on the 10th of July, 10th of July, 11th of July, we're now the 22nd, so yeah. So, um, yeah, Ruby is looking well, anyhow, look at that. He is living the dream in this diverse bit of ground. Right, well, that's it now. I have the girls in the car. I must go back. So they're going to be on this bit of a hill for the next two days, and I'm going to bring them up the road closer to the shed which they'll do, which will do them until the end of the month, until Mr. Large Man here has to go. So that is the carry on. They're in there now and they have their willows. They have their black sallies, which is a willow. They have their white sallies, which is another willow. 
they have all them to be eaten up. So they're great now, full of tannins. <coughs> There's a fly after going in my throat. Bastards. They're great for uh, parasites. So I'm very happy. It's very mild today. It's warm, in fact. Damp and humid. But the cows are thriving. And the rain is holding off for now. And it's all good. So I think I'll put this together, make it my weekend video, and we'll chat very soon. What's this lady eating? This lady's eating bine weed as well. So we have bine weed in here. Also, I mean there's any amount of uh, stuff in here. We have nettles. They will not eat them, but sure they're there anyhow for the next round. They will eat them when they die off. I'm really happy with the clover and the plantain. And then we have, uh, oh, dandelion, isn't it? They love the roots of them. I often see them pull up the roots. Red clovers. Look at them. Absolutely beautiful. They have their pond to drink out of. They have their rushes. The Lura Wadra. The dog rush. So yeah. Very nice. I will come back to these this evening. And uh, see how they're getting on. So they have all that little woody area there as well to be browsing on. So on that positive note. And our lovely clover. I will say good luck and goodbye.